Greetings, <clears throat> excuse me, greetings from Christian News and Interviews. Okay, so I'm from Baltimore. I grew up in Baltimore at a time where Baltimore was uh, pretty decent. It's not that way anymore. And um, we've always had an issue with the squeegee boys. But years ago, they were not violent. They were potentially violent, but they hadn't become violent yet. Their quote unquote violence um, really was in the fact that they were belligerent. They were belligerent. So what I mean by that is they would approach your car. If you said, no, thank you. I don't want you to wash my windshield wipers. There were times when they would try to start working on your windshield wipers anyway. And so we were told that if they did that, to just turn on your windshield wipers so that there would, it would, be, there would be no way for them to um, wash your windshield because the wipers are moving. Well, if you do that now, you're doing it at your own peril. I know about five years ago, I had stopped my car. I was on my way to church. And a young man ran up to my car. I told him no. In spite of me telling him no, he proceeded to try to wash my windshield. And so I turned on my wipers and he cursed it. Well, <clears throat> it's gotten to a point now where if you tell these young men no, you may end up being attacked, shot, uh, they will uh, destroy your car by pulling your windshield wipers off of it. These um, are not cute little boys anymore. These are dangerous felons attacking people and ignoring the fact that you're telling them, I'm not, I don't want you washing my windshield wipers, my windshield rather, and I don't, I'm not giving you any money. So there's been a de death in Baltimore. Listen to this. Increasing their presence and patrols. Enhanced enforcement following Thursday's deadly fight between a motorist and squeegee worker. We're combing through a lot of evidence right now in search of the person who shot the victim. Police say 48 year old Timothy Reynolds confronted a group of squeegee workers. He got out of his car and started swinging a baseball bat. All right, let me pause right there. You cannot get out of your car and approach these young men, especially with the weapon. You get out of your car, you get jumped. Now, I, I can understand why he brought a weapon with him. I'm pretty sure that they had uh, ignored him when he told them, no, I don't want you to uh, touch my car. I'm pretty sure that they ignored him. Uh, they probably started to try to um, wash his windshield anyway, because they, as I said, they're very belligerent. They don't care that you tell them. And so he probably became frustrated and jumped out of the car and he knew he couldn't jump out without a whip. But the problem is these young men are strapped. A squeegee worker pulled out a gun and shot him. The shooting, one of several incidents at the same intersection Thursday. And once again, the mayor's office had an entire team out there with outreach yesterday at that corner and before that, we were right there making an arrest of a person with a gun. It's horrendous. This man who doesn't want us to show his face says prior to the shooting, he came through the same area. While working DoorDash, he got angry when a squeegee worker broke his windshield wiper. Okay, did you, did you hear that? So this man is minding his business. He's working DoorDash. And here comes a squeegee worker. And again, these are not cute little boys. These are thugs broke his windshield. They do that a lot. He is also frustrated over past incidents at the same corner. The driver got out of his car but quickly changed his mind about a confrontation. He reached down, picked up a backpack with his right hand, took his left hand, put his hand in the backpack, pulled the gun out to where I could see it, and at that point I was leaving. You know, I okay, so these, these guys are strapped now. Years ago, back in the 20 years ago, when, when, when uh, you would see them out there, they were a pain in the neck, but they were not strapped. Now, I would say probably 99% of them are carrying a weapon. Why are they carrying that weapon? Because 
they want to kill you if you tell them, no, you don't touch my car. I had this emotion that overcame me. It was kind of like fight or flight. Like I wanted to go at him, but then I had this overwhelming sense of my family and needing to get back to them. And that <laughs> this man made a smart move. Instead of going with his anger, he decided, you know what, it's not worth it. This boy's about to kill me. Let me make it home to my family alive. That's why I got in that car and left. Mayor Brandon Scott says the city has been trying to address the squeegee issue, hoping to connect and get the workers off the streets. Okay, so I'll stop there. I just want to say this. Um, I'd love to see their grades. I'd love to see whether or not these squeegee boys even attend school. I love to see uh, what their behavior is. How many times have they been suspended? There's nothing, let me repeat this, cute about these boys. People may think, oh, how cute. They're out here trying to earn a decent living. They're not selling drugs. It doesn't matter that they're not selling drugs. If, you, if I tell you, I don't want you to touch my car. I don't want my windshields uh, cleaned. Respect me enough to back off. Don't attack my car. Don't deface my car. Don't pull out a weapon and threaten me. So these squeegee boys need to, need to be taken directly off the street. It's just another group of thugs out here menacing society. Stay tuned.